Welcome to Storytime. Get ready, navigate for quick wisdom of countless stories. Let's dive into the world of knowledge together and explore. Story. The Sun Shines Over the Sangon River Written by Dai Qing. Summary of the story, The Sun Shines Over the Sangon River Written by Dai Qing. The Chinese Cultural Revolution is the setting for Dai Qing's story. The sun shines over the Sangon River. It follows the everyday life of villagers of Sangon River Village. Little Xiaolin, the main character, observes how ideologies impact his village and how things change there. The narrative effectively conveys the difficulties, happiness, and determination of the rural people in the face of political disturbances, showing how they find hope and strength in their culture and cooperation in the face of sorrow. Readers gain an awareness of the human spirit's power to persevere and find hope even in the most dire circumstances via Xiaolin's eyes. In Dai Qing's, the sun shines over the Sangon River. The complexities of daily living during the Cultural Revolution are presented with clarity. The main character, Xiaolin, fights with the changes brought about by political forces that pierce the peace of the town. The narrative explores how Xiaolin's family, and the larger community are changing as he moves through youth. The villagers show endurance in the face of social change because of their shared past and hardships. Dai Qing carefully shows how the farmers maintain their grounded customs and ideals while changing to the changing environment of politics. The Sangon River is transformed into a tiny image of the more major shifts in society of that time period by Dai Qing's tales. The story skillfully combines themes of struggle and strength, love and grief, and the effect of private choices on political beliefs. Xiaolin's journey is a profound representation of human determination and resilience in the face of adversity, reflecting the collective experiences of the villagers. The book additionally stresses the value of connection and community during times of instability. The people of Sangon River create ties that go beyond differences in politics in spite of partisanship and other pressure. Their solidarity in maintaining their culture and common humanity act as a ray of hope amidst the destruction, demonstrating the strength of courage and group support in overcoming hardship. Chapter 1. The Village of Sangon River Life in the sleepy village of Sangon River flowed like the soft currents of the river. With their roofs making out from lush green trees, houses stood side by side. People went about their days, tending to crops or breaking up conversations in the marketplace, with grins as bright as the sun. A small child with interested eyes, Xiaolin, wandered the village's winding lanes. He was familiar with every detail and tale that tucked behind the walls of their little cottages. Every individual, from the cheery baker to the old storyteller, contributed something to the community of Sangon River. The peace that surrounded Sangon River like a warm hug was seen by the slowly flowing river, which served as the village's focal point. As the sun painted the sky in shades of orange and pink, families gathered along its banks to share stories and laughs. In this oasis of peace, politics appeared to be a far-off echo. Here, the seasons determined the pace of life rather than the beliefs that sparked revolution elsewhere. They had no idea, though, that those far-off echoes would soon make their way to the village and disturb the peace tune that the people of Sangon River had been dancing to for many years. The softly flowing river, the center of the community, showed the peacefulness that enveloped Sangon River like a warm hug. Families gathered along its banks to laugh and tell stories as the sun painted the sky in orange and pink colors. From this composed haven, politics seemed like a distant ghost. Here, it was not the ideas that inspired revolution elsewhere, but the seasons that controlled life's timing. However, they were unaware that those distant echoes would soon arrive in the town and conflict with the peace song that people of Sangon River had been dancing to for a long time. Chapter 2, Winds of Change. The winds of change blew through the settlement, causing the otherwise calm Sangon River to shake. Xiaolin heard it in the adulthood quiet voices and the lack of the normal laughter that used to fill the streets. Strange and stark posters and slogans with messages that looked removed from the everyday pleasures of their community began to appear against the walls of the village. Meetings took place, conversations took place in whispers behind closed doors, and new faces formed, bearing the burden of ideas at odds with the customs of the community. The Sangon River's once clear waters now seemed to be whispering a new story, 
taking the faint sounds of a changing world outside their peaceful refuge with them. More sensitive than ever, Xiaolin felt discomfort seeping into the villagers' routine exchanges. The river's comforting embrace was powerless to protect them from the growing fear that began to overwhelm them as the winds of change gathered up more force. Xiaolin couldn't help but wonder how these winds would affect the future of Sangon River and the lives of its people as the village struggled with these strange tides. The people became divided as these winds of change arrived. Some clung strongly to the customs and beliefs that had long defined Sangon River, while others welcomed the new ideals. Xiaolin watched the changing dynamics, the tentative looks that passed between friends, the quiet arguments that took the place of once vivacious debates. The hamlet, which had previously been a peaceful mosaic of common experiences, now appeared to be surrounded by unseen lines, suggesting a developing conflict that would upend the unity that had served as the foundation of their neighborhood. With the increasing fury of the winds of change, Xiaolin was filled with both intrigue and fear as she wondered how these forces would shape the future of Sangon River and the lives of its people. Chapter 3 Xiaolin's World Xiaolin discovered himself at the center of a planet undergoing transformation amidst the changing currents that swallowed the Sangon River. The familiar surroundings he had known appeared enveloped in confusion, and his youthful innocence gave way to an increasing understanding of the complexity of the world. His quest to comprehend the winds of change that had swept across his peaceful community turned curiosity into his compass. He listened carefully to the adult conversations, piecing together the bits of ideas and politics that now filled their everyday existence. As Xiaolin balanced the lessons of tradition with the hints of change, fresh knowledge appeared every day. Xiaolin's universe grew beyond the quiet town streets and the soft riverbanks in the midst of the chaos. In an attempt to get a better understanding of the world that lay beyond the Sangon River, he studied books that he had borrowed from distant relatives in search of answers and paid close attention to the stories told by passing travelers. In the early years of his life, Xiaolin set out on a quest of self-discovery, trying to find his place amid the changing landscapes of Sangon River and the wider horizon that called beyond its peaceful borders. Question mark Xiaolin's journey from childhood to a deeper understanding of the world. He wondered how these winds of change would shape his own destiny and the destiny of the village he held dear. A dual emotionality tainted Xiaolin's context. His interest carried him forward, yet nostalgia kept him grounded in the ease of the past. Though he loved the memory of his carefree days spent running beside the river, he could feel the burden of duty beginning to settle on his young shoulders. His growing understanding of the universe was marked by the wisdom and doubt woven together with the acquired knowledge, echoing the advice of his elders. Xiaolin struggled to balance sticking to treasured customs with embracing the tides of change as his world grew beyond the known. Within this complex dance of the old and the new, Xiaolin set out on a journey of self-discovery in an attempt to make sense of the opposing forces that shaped Sangon River and his own journey. Chapter 4 turmoil and transformation. The once steady patterns of Sangon River life were unexpectedly challenged with difficult, unforeseen waves. The whispers that started out as winds of change turned into an earthquake that rocked the community to its very core. Ideological conflicts felt through the streets, causing houses to split and obscuring the formerly clear rivers of togetherness. Tensions increased when rival beliefs came together, causing rifts amongst friends and strangers. Xiaolin saw the marketplace erupt into furious discussions, the voices filled with laughter that had before been replaced by passionate arguments. The conflicting currents of beliefs appeared to have split the hamlet, which had previously been a peaceful mosaic of common experiences. Families were forced to choose between keeping to long-standing customs or embracing the need for a new system. The younger generation, driven by hopes for change, challenged the status quo, while the elders, the keepers of tradition, found it difficult to deal with this unknown landscape. Sangon River was caught up in this storm of opposing beliefs and was forced to choose between holding on to its history and facing an uncertain future. For Xiaolin, the unrest was a foreign land, a maze of complex information that put the foundation of the society he loved to the test. He struggled to understand the deep effect the change had on the villagers' life and the complex web of connections that had once formed the tight-knit community of Sangon River. 
the community was on the cutting edge of transformation in this stormy chapter, unsure of what was ahead and longing for the quiet after the storm. Chapter 5 Bonds and Breaks the ties that had previously held the Sangon River villagers together were put under unheard of pressure within the rushing currents of change. Xiaolin saw the fine threads of connection stressed to their breaking point, and she noticed the little fractures that started to show in the once strong bonds. Once bound together by similar customs, families now find themselves on opposite sides of ideological divides. Dinner tables that had formerly been places to gather for comfort and laughter became tense forums creating divisions that appeared unchangeable. Once solid in their belonging, friends who had gone the village lanes hand in hand were now walking separate roads due to their differing viewpoints. But while some ties stayed strong, weaknesses started to appear in others. Tensions between relatives and friends were brought about by differences of opinion and the desire for change. Disagreements erupted from talks, and the warmth of well-known bonds disappeared when different courses were taken. Xiaolin felt the weight of difficulties that had previously stood constant as she watched these fissures with a heavy heart. The village, which was originally solid in its simplicity, was now struggling with the conflict of its residents' equal closeness and remoteness. Sangon River showed the complexity of human relationships in this chapter of binds and breaks by showing both the strength that kept some friendships alive and the weakness that led to others breaking. In an effort to comprehend the changing nature of relationships in a community where the winds of change promised to destroy the very foundation of their shared existence, Xiaolin found himself balancing this delicate circumstance. Chapter 6. The River's Resilience The Sangon River itself stood as a resolute sign of battle as it passed through the storms of change. The cool waters never stopped, expressing the village's resolute character despite all the chaos that washed over its banks. The locals took comfort in the river's steady flow, deriving strength from its regularity. They crowded around the rocks, finding comfort in the water's well-known embrace that had seen many generations pass by. The river, a quiet witness to the drama in the community, began its continuous beat as a reminder of the strength built in the very nature of the Sangon River. The locals looked to the river for inspiration when faced with hardship. Its determination served as an example for them, telling them that they must change while holding fast to their fundamental principles. The villagers looked to the river for motivation trying strength in togetherness and solidarity as it started the journey. For Xiaolin, the river represented the village spirit altogether and was a meaningful symbol. He was amazed by its capacity to endure different seasons, a testament to the villagers' everlasting spirit that lasted even during the most trying of times. The river came out of this difficult phase as a timeless example of the Sangon River community's firm determination, giving hope for the future. While the villagers took comfort from the river's continuous flow, Xiaolin discovered that he was pulled to its banks more frequently and found comfort in its continuous presence. He learned a lesson in patience from watching its calm but continuous movement. In the middle of disorder and uncertainty, continuity possessed a great strength. The river took on the role of a silent mentor and taught him the importance of staying steady in the face of change and giving him the resolve to overcome the obstacles that lay ahead. Xiaolin saw inspiration in the river's ability to last and keep unity, and he imagined a time when the Sangon River might weather the storms of change without losing the core of its enduring character. Chapter 7, Shadows and Light the story of Sangon River's rich tapestry revealed a more prominent interplay between light and shade. Once shining with mutual happiness, the community now had to contend with the shadows thrown by opposing ideas. Amidst the chaos, moments of brightness still shimmered through the craters. Into the night came deeds of kindness and unity that shone on the tenacity that united the villages. Small acts of kindness, laughing between locals during contentious arguments, and the steadfast support of strangers acted as rays of energy, chasing away the dark clouds that threatened to envelop the town. Xiaolin saw the gloomy undertones that colored daily life, where whispers of discord shared through the streets and communal spaces. The village seemed covered in uncertainty, dealing with the approaching name spectrum of division. Chapter 7 showed itself as a delicate interplay between shadows and light in the intricate tapestry of Sangon River's story. The village found itself cast under the duality of contrasting forces, 
Moments of darkness connected with glows of hope and strength. Small acts of kindness and compassion generated a spark of hope, reminding the villagers of the resilience that lay within their unity. However, rays of light struck through the darkness, explaining the path forward and repairing fractured ties among others. Through the variations of shade, Xiaolin saw the soft combination of the cutting darkness and the bright brightness. He saw the strength of togetherness drive out darkness, knowing that even in the face of disorder, Sangon River's strength was its people's constant will to welcome the light that came from their common humanity. The village stood between brightness and shadow in this chapter of contrasts, each showing a different aspect of its complex nature as it navigated the stormy currents of change. Chapter 8, The Changing Landscape. Once a beautiful melt, Sangon River underwent a change that changed the area both literally and emotionally. The ever-present winds of change created a changing image of the village, one that was shaped by social currents and political changes. The village changed physically in subtle but obvious ways. Once traditional walls were decorated with posters and symbols of changing beliefs. The formerly well-known routes now passed through an area shown by strange signs, a reflection of the changing tides that passed through the Sangon River. In a literal manner, the village's surroundings changed as well. Its members' viewpoints changed, creating new patterns in the group's collective mind. The village's cultural tapestry was colored by the variety of beliefs created when current views and traditional values came together. Xiaolin watched the subtle changes that shaped the village's identity within this changing terrain. Observing the combination of the old and the modern, he understood that the spirit of Sangon River was its capacity to change while holding on to the eternal lessons ingrained in its past. The town struggled with a shifting environment during this phase of change, which was a reflection of the complex dance between evolution and conservation that shaped its identity. As the environment of the Sangon River changed more, Xiaolin experienced a bitter sorrow for the carefree times. Though he accepted that change was natural, he clung to treasured memories of the peaceful beauty of the community. In the middle of the changes, he found comfort in the things that would never change, the warmth of family relationships, the laughter that still vibrated throughout the town, and the resilient spirit that constituted Sangon River. Through managing the changing environment, Xiaolin discovered a way to accept the changes that were taking place while taking solace in the strong bonds that united the village's history, present, and future. Chapter 9, Unity in Diversity. Amidst the various currents that traveled through the Sangon River, a deep melody, a piece constructed from the diversity of threads rose to the surface. The hamlet, which had appeared to be split along ideologies, found strength in valuing a variety of views and customs. Families discovered a common goal in their hopes for a brighter future, whatever their differences. Traditional wisdom was passed down from elders to newer centuries, who created new ideas and change-oriented objectives. The villagers learned that harmony and variety could coexist via communication and understanding, creating an embroidery that valued a unique contribution of every thread. In this chapter, Sangon River changed into a microcosm of peace in the face of division, showcasing the tenacity of group acceptance. Xiaolin saw the beauty that developed when the village accepted its diversity and understood that its strength was found in the college of viewpoints, cultures, and ideas that shaped the community's identity rather than in unity. This chapter brought people together via a profound understanding that went past differences rather than just a surface harmony. It developed into a ray of hope, pointing the way forward for the people of Sangon River, a community linked by a common goal of an open and understanding future, and reinforced by its variety. When unity appeared in the face of variety, Xiaolin was moved by the spirit of cooperation that surfaced. As he watched the Sangon River change, he came to understand that the village's resilience was not derived from uniformity but rather from the linked beliefs and customs. He understood the importance of acceptance and respect for one another in creating a vibrant community as he watched the villagers come together in spite of their differences. Xiaolin regarded Sangon River's ability for growth in this chapter of unity as a vivid mosaic, where each individual contribution improved the richness of the river's collective identity. Chapter 10, Reflections of Tomorrow. Sangon River found itself at a crossroads as the winds of change gradually became stronger. The community was on the verge of a new day, 
looking out to sea with a mixture of reflection and excitement. The villagers took a moment in this chapter of reflection to consider the path they had traveled, the difficulties encountered, the relationships formed, and their resilience that had seen them through difficult times. Every individual possessed pieces of the past, a jumble of memories that decorated the backdrop of Sangon River's communal story. For Xiaolin, this was a chance to consider the village's future. He focused on the lessons he had learned in the midst of the shifting tides and worked to accept the evolution that the Sangon River had undergone while keeping its core. In his vision of the future, the village would be able to maintain its beloved customs while welcoming improvements, and the balance created by diversity would prosper. The villagers also shared hopes for a future that will both respect the legacy of their ancestors and promote development and wealth for future generations. With a newfound feeling of unity and purpose, they were prepared to start a new chapter while holding fast to the classic values that shaped their community. With the stories of the past, the courage of the present, and the hopes for a future in which the spirit of unity, durability, and shared humanity would continue to shine brightly, like the sun over the Sangon River, Sangon River stood waiting for tomorrow in this final chapter. He learnings, the profound concepts of resilience, unity, and accepting change are beautifully expressed in Dai Ching's The Sun Shines Over the Sangon River. The villager's journey is a moving example of the strength of the human spirit in the face of tragedy. It reminds us that in times of disorder, the strength of a community rests in its ability to adjust without compromising its key principles. The story skillfully demonstrates how diversity is possible with unity, emphasizing the value of mutual respect, compassion, and assistance when facing difficult situations. The teachings discovered in Sangon River continue to serve as a source of wisdom for both readers and the villagers as the story comes to an end. Not only does the end of the story bring closure, but it also marks a new beginning and the village's solve to take on the future while paying respect to its past. It leaves us with the profound understanding that, even if change is natural, a community's real worth is found in its unity, fortitude, and suffering spirit, which shines brightly like the sun over the Sangon River. Thanks for tuning in. For more enlightening content and a detailed summary, visit www.mybooksummary.com. Don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends. Let's inspire and empower each other. Subscribe to our channel and share our videos with your friends and family.